Rain and flooding is expected to get worse in the western part of the state, including in Wilkes County. ABC 45's Casey Zanowick was out in the western part of the Piedmont today. And Casey, what can you tell us about storm preps that are happening right now? Ashley, the flooding in Wilkes County could be heavier than here in the triad. I was here, I was there in Wilkes County earlier today and saw that heavy rainfall already causing some roads to flood and damage to other parts of the area. And with the high winds and heavy rain expected to continue throughout tonight and tomorrow, emergency management is urging people to just stay at home. I mean, we're kind of in the run of it right now, so I think preparation has kind of went to the wayside. Now it's kind of shelter in place. The National Weather Service is anticipating upwards of 10 inches of rain in the western part of the state, including areas like Wilkes County. Wilkes County Emergency Medical Services says that high rainfall has already led to some issues they're concerned about. Expecting for more power outages, I think right now we're up to 19, and that's kind of waxed and waned as, as the days go by. Um, we've experienced loss of down trees. And as even more rain comes, with high winds expected as well, they say flooding is a major concern. It takes six, six inches of water to carry, uh, to knock you off your feet, um, and just a little more to, to carry your car away. So just be safe and don't travel through the floodwaters. They urge people at this point to stay at home, as it is the safest thing to do while the storm is here. However, if you do have to leave your home, they have a few tips to ensure you don't get stuck in a flooded area. Make sure you know your uh, access and regress to your house. And if that does become blocked with floodwaters, um, you know, turn around, don't drown. Wolfs County EMS says they will continue to monitor those flood levels and are prepared to make any saves if necessary. But again, they urge people to just stay at home if they can. In the triad, I'm Casey Zanowick, ABC 45 News, standing up for you.